Good morning. Welcome to the stream. It's another beautiful Saturday. It's finally sunny. You can see the sun all streaming at my face. I went out for a little morning cherry blossom jaunt. Um, the Seattle's kind of cool because we have a lot of cherry blossoms in our city. And finally it stopped raining this week and I was able to go out to my neighborhoods and look for them. And a lot of them are already at kind of like that pre-blooming phase. The buds are all not tight, but like somewhat loose. So I am really excited because that means tomorrow or next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, is going to be really pretty in my neighborhood. So I printed some photos uh, and I thought I would, I'm actually still printing them. <laughs> but I figure I will work on some spreads this morning. Uh, maybe even do some painting. We'll see. Uh, today I am going to be watching Doom later, so Doom Part 2. So I only have a little bit of time this morning. I thought I'd start early and end around 12. Got my cream cheese danish on the way home this morning. photos I still need to finish cutting let me trim these first while I wait for the big printer how's everyone's week been this week I've been obsessed with k-drama on Monday and Tuesday I was definitely going through withdrawal after binging it last weekend a lot of different ones i was watching dr slump i was watching uh queen of tears and then in that withdrawal period i rewatched uh why are you like this secretary Kim? and then just yesterday or the day before i started romance is a bonus book um both of those are rewatches I was just like scrolling through Netflix and other services trying to find shows that could satisfy my romantic cravings. <laughs> but today, a new episode of Queen of Tears is out. However, I don't think uh, I'm going to watch it today. I'm going to wait for tomorrow when the, the fourth episode is out. Because today is the third, tomorrow's the fourth. And then I will watch it all in one go. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep feeling that deprived feeling <laughs> tonight. I'm drinking cardamom latte. really delicious drink. Kelly, my co-host Kelly turned me on to cardamom latte. It has a very nice like spice um, taste to it. My goodness, my table is a mess right now. Well, it was more of a mess earlier, but I cleaned it up halfway through this week, but I think it's going to get messy again today. Yeah, these photos are going into my traveler's notebook because um, my Hobonichi has been filled with just writing these days. No space for photos. I need to start clean. I need to clean my blades again for my scissor. It's been sticking. 
that's the downside of printing on like online labels is that you're when you're trying to trim it they get a little sticky <sighs> i was like how do i deal with the light is this better this might be a little better good morning mama Hydro here welcome to the stream let me My goo. Ah, there, that's better. Let me reorganize my table a little bit. I've been using this one for bigger pastings. Mm. A stack sticker sheets that I I didn't even bother putting into a book now I just like kind of use it on the side oh this one I took off my, my traveler's notebook put it over here over here okay. thank you for the little dolly my bear's been sitting on it <laughs> very cute like it has its own little bed. I'm just reorganizing things so things look cleaner on my desk. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing some painting today with my palette, the big green one. It's the pre-filled set from um, Travelers, and I've been using to paint a lot of cherry blossoms <laughs> in anticipation. You know what I'm saying? In my water bottle. Let's take a sip, actually. <sighs> Alright, I think that's all right here. Let's fill in. Let's catch up a little bit on my Hobonichi first. Specifically the weeklies. few of my inks are getting low I can't believe I'm like writing through this entire thing of 823 again I just use it so fast okay so yesterday uh, we went and had delicious dinner at Hamdi Turkish and Anatolian and then when we came home, we spent three hours re-watching Dune in preparation for today's movie session. And this morning, woke up late. 
raised in bed because that's what you do on the weekend uh, but also right before <laughs> the stream um, cherry blossom peeping I would say the flowers are all around like 40 to 50 percent right now which is really drastic compared to two days ago when I checked they were all like at like literally 10 percent but I think because the weather has been so good since Wednesday like it has been super nice on Thursday super nice on Friday and so it has sped up the the matureness I guess of the flowers with the warmer temperature and then I also went to buy in bakery. And then I'll probably be streaming till 12. I'm a little scared because I don't remember what I did on Thursday. <laughs> Whoops. For lunch, I have Thai leftover. Tuk Tuk and Isan. And Elia got me coffee. I think I just made tea too long yesterday. My spread has been taking on a very cherry blossom pink vibe. I'm, I'm excited to continue that theme. My pink setup right now. Everything pink. I'll balance it a little bit by putting this on top this time. One of my favorite rolls, this one. I used my own tape, the one with the Rainbow Holic. I really like this row because I, I actually painted all of these petals with watercolor. It came out so well. Although it's not fall, I'm going to include this little Mont Blanc piece because of the pink background. fingers curled up weirdly <laughs> I just realized I think because I don't want to put my fingers down on the page because it's gonna the new TRP paper is like I don't want to leave any like oil on it so I've been doing like this like a little weird claw <laughs> instead
in the dust. Wow, I'm like, I can't remember what I did on Thursday. <laughs> what, did I, what did I do at night? Hmm, Elliot made steak. Ah, I see. Remember now. I might have had instant coffee Cut again. Oh well. I don't have to remember everything. It's okay. Now, where are my mile liners? Perfect. I think the photos are ready. Let me finish decorating this page. I think I was going to use more of my cherry blossom stickers. These, these guys. Ah, so cute. I just love the sticker sheet and I've decided like again like no hoarding so it's actually really fun to just kind of make the whole spread be cohesive by using the entire sheet <laughs> in one spread <laughs> so that's how I'm determined to use up my stickers uh, moving forward and this little girly with the kimono Let's go take a look at the photos. But first, a bite of the cream cheese croissant.
Again, I arranged all my photos using the app Photo Grid um, on my phone. And then I just uh, collage them into a letter size page. And I print it all out at once on sticker paper. Ah, I should have adjusted the what do you call it? The borders. They don't need to be this thick. I wanted to get a few larger, um, I wanted to print out a few larger pieces of the cherry blossoms, like that one. So I had gone beyond what I usually collage, the style. I just like wish my printer prints the colors more vibrantly. <laughs> I do feel like it's still slightly washed out and oh well it's a printer what can you do <laughs> that's why when a lot of people ask me like oh what printer do you use and i'm like uh i don't recommend mine <laughs> I, I i wish you can find a better printer than mine <laughs> Because it really isn't all that. Right. I'm so slow at drinking coffee. You can tell I've been neglecting my hobonichi for a little bit. I was thinking, should I decorate some pages with my old um, clean soda pages? I've been flipping through a few just nonchalantly. I think there was one that was like pink that was kind of cute. This guy. It's from February. And then I think there was another pink one. Oh, they've been it's been going all blue in the past few times. Ah, this one is also very refreshing, huh? Like <laughs> this one looks like an energy drink. That yellow man. this is the one this week and it's like very refreshing i wonder what's that purple ice cream up there i just love this calendar so much I feel like cream soda to me just evokes this feeling of refreshing um, relaxation a little bit of indulgence because of the color and the the princessy vibes <laughs> i guess um, but more of that summer um, innocence vibe 
maybe it's associated with like animes or where they came across but that, I think that's just why I really like cream sodas root beer floats give me the same vibe I think it all comes down to that feeling of like childhood innocence and little pleasures thinking of pairing these together on this page. Morning. Hey Judy. How's it going? You know what? Maybe this sun's better. This sun. Just catching up in my Hobonichi and printing out some photos of cherry blossoms in my neighborhood. I brought my plotter for the photo shoot. So this is the new horsehair leather case um, in my green plotter. This, this looks nice. Very refreshing feeling. You guys hear the boat horn? That was also very special and unique to my neighborhood. Bridge goes up. Ah, refreshing. Right, let's flip this over first. And then a little bit from yesterday, went to this restaurant called Hamdi. It features Turkish food. Turkish and Anatolian cuisine is so good. They had this dish where it's like a grilled a chicken wings grilled over charcoal and then like the moment you bite into it it's just like <laughs> it, re it actually reminds me of thailand because in thailand we would eat a lot of grilled charcoal grilled fried chicken uh not fried chicken charcoal grilled chicken wings and then or or just not chicken wings, but like whole chicken and it just has that like really distinct taste picnic blanket noodles <laughs> sometimes I almost said noodles so this is the dish five pieces of chicken wings and then there's like a very refreshing kind of radish salad in between with a little bit of a floral essence And then I just really like this photo of Elliot and Cookie frolicking out in the on the deck. Nice. 
So who has indulged in cute things from Japan's most recent restock? I couldn't because I already made a, I already made a <laughs> order just like a week ago. So I'm like not allowing myself to make another order. <laughs> See if we finish my threads early today, maybe I'll do some painting. Ah. Damn, I took a photo of the the restaurant from the exterior, but it's on my phone. this instead. I'm going to write about this restaurant on my latest food blog if I find the time to <laughs> journal. <laughs> this is an, it's like an oven baked long pizza, if you will with like a very creamy shiitake mushroom sauce and like a very delicious uh, marinated egg yolk on top 
You took plenty of photos from your last trip and forgot to put photos. No. It's the most important photos. I feel like me four years ago, five years ago, 2017 to 2019, like I take a lot of photos of myself. It's like, it's just what we do like lots of selfies and stuff. But since the pandemic, I've been really just do not even feel like I need to anymore. I take very little photos of myself. Like the habit is just gone. <laughs> Maybe it's just like that grown up feeling of like not feeling like I need to worry about how I look anymore, maybe? You're looking at restaurants websites. <laughs> That's all I'm doing right now. <laughs> so this is the P day. Palm D. use this big palette I'm gonna use a smaller one just looking at the the wash you can kind of tell my my my, my topic <laughs> is very cherry blossom lately And the mushroom mixture, the shiitake mushroom part is a little bit more murky, grayish. But maybe not all of it. I might do some variations. Then the day before I'll do this one. on Thursday. Um, I went out in my neighborhood to do a little bit of a scouting photo shoot. 
You'll see them on the Traverse Notebook blog post soon. Good. Definitely walked to quite a few areas. Did some paintings, did some photo shoots, and enjoyed the sun really because the weather was so nice. It's a it's quite a treat um, compared to the last few weeks of just frenzied working. I feel like I kind of want to use like a, a nice background though. Or should I just do this? something Ooh, this paper is nice oh, I could just go with one of these I use this one instead it's lighter and Some of these paper materials I've had for forever. It's just that I always have to remind myself, like, I need to, I need to just garner some energy to actually look for them, to you, and then I could use them. <laughs> Otherwise, they're just gonna sit forever in my drawers. Blue one. How about this guy? Some new stamps. I'm gonna use some of my new stamps from Liberty HK, especially the the text ones. This one. So so cool. Lydia, welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday. It's so nice out. I'm so happy I went out for my little walk and just took photos. There's just so many beautiful half bloomed blossoms. I feel like maybe this is a good one I could use here.
that's dry now. Anything on Wednesday though? What if I just put this one? <laughs> so this is ephemera because the groomer from last week wrote this note for me as a referral to my new the new grooming location and I just wanted to keep it. <laughs> it's our handwritten note for cooks. I know it looks kind of silly to keep this, but you know, life's life's ephemera. I don't know what I do on Wednesday. I'm gonna just tr finish trimming these. So a few blocks down from my house, there's a school and it's kind of like their campus and they have a lot of cherry blossoms. So this is, I, I went a few times each season, each year, this time of the year to get like the whole experience from barely blooming to full bloom to my favorite part, the, the, what do you call it? Feng shui shit. The one where like the leaves, the, the blossoms are falling off and like the wind just like carries all the petals in the air. Like that's honestly my favorite part. The cherry blossom storm part. Um, and there's another one of my favorite locations in Ballard. Um, maybe, hmm, I wonder if anyone would be interested in going with me next weekend. Every year I would sit in the trunk of my my car and, and paint that scene. And I'm probably doing it again this year. I have to take the whole day off though. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Forgot to eat my breakfast. This could be switched out soon. But I feel like this pen can only hold pink ink still. Because it's the cherry blossom pen.
it's funny how the wetness of the ink like make the page ripples as I write. <laughs> I think the part of the TRP charm. Oh my god, last night I had a nightmare, friends. Heavily gifted today. Um, well, first of all, because I watched Dune, so obviously my dream was all around like this weird like like war thing and like, you know, preparing for the war, stuff like that. But then there was a scene, it would be, it'd be really terrifying for Polly, but there was a scene where I was like prepping and like looking for my pen case and then I like, was trying to take out my my pens and then in it was three glass pens. <laughs> and the moment I took out two of them I found that the tip of the glass pens were all broken <laughs> because they were just sitting in my literally sitting in this and I was pulling them out and then the tip was just like you can tell it was it was definitely like chipped and then I just remember towards the end of that dream I was like damn should I figure out how to like do glass myself like should I light a candle and like try to melt at the tip and do a little pulling to <laughs> revive the glass pen tip <laughs> that was that was kind of the last last bit of my nightmare and I was like yeah no maybe I shouldn't put glass pens in my pen case <laughs> they probably shouldn't be stored that way Yeah, I've been having stationary related nightmares. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Gifted, for saying I have a good penmanship. I wish I could say the same for my Chinese writing. Next month, early April, is going to be the Illustration Taipei event. Man, so many. It's like, I feel like the scale is as good as Creative Expo, to be honest. And I was like, wow, all these new products that artists and illustrators are coming out with are pretty damn awesome.
I'm going to do a little border here. So the question is, which one? Maybe this green one? I'll do this one. The Wagashi one from, what is this, Mind Wave? Also, I've been trying to convince Job to come down to Seattle. <laughs> like, come on, Job. <laughs> You're so close. I think it just gives me an excuse to eat more food. And go out and about. God, look, look how much I've turned my book <laughs> like this is the way I write I can't I can't write it like this <laughs> I have to write it like this all right I'll save this page for now because um, who knows what else I'm doing today though I do want to tape down the sides here It <laughs> won't go down. Maybe if I do this. All right, I think I want to paint. So I'm going to do some preparation for it. So I'm going to do it, be right back.
All right. Let's get this song. I feel like I'm feeling a little bit more of a different vibe. So I'm going to watch, listen to play instead. And then also I need to decide what image I want to paint. I did so many cherry blossoms last a few years ago. This is also at the um, UW Quad. This one has the really good paper, so I've been doing a lot of really intense drawings in these. Um, I'll do this page. I'll do this side and then I'll do something casual over there but first let's tape it up so I like to use empty tape <laughs> because it holds down better so although it feels like a waste but I'm gonna do use this cute little pink tape of empty An effective way to use the washi tapes, get into sketching, <laughs> use it for painting. I'm gonna do use three palettes. This one has more of variety. This one has the standards, but I like the mixing space on this, so that's why I'm gonna use this as my mixing space. And then this one has like other variety. Of... Probably do this. Uh, first thing, uh, sketch pencil. Ooh, let's let's use the expensive. What is this even called? I forgot already. The Kuratoga dive.
Hello, how much did I pay for this one? It was the $99 pricing on Univol 1, but I used a $15, 15 discount. <laughs> and unfortunately, I, you know, came across, you know, it only uh, got on my radar after they raised their prices and Brad talked about it. So I remember he talked about it and then um, the pen addict reported on the price gouging of Unitoga and then they didn't have stuff back in stock for a little bit and then just like sneakily they started selling it again um, and then it's been $99 ever since I feel like it's kind of like to be honest a little bit I like Brad Brad made it a big deal like oh they took the chance to invite him and stuff but it's like just to appease him <laughs> I don't think he I don't think they actually did anything to address or apologize or, or like you know amend their actions of, of price gouging the customers <laughs> they just they just wanted to a piece, the most vocal, influential voice out there. My two cents. But, you know, it doesn't matter because I bought it. <laughs> so they still got me. They still got me. Oh, Elliot's back. So, guys, be prepared for some cookie screaming because um, Elliot's back with this friend who Cookie really likes. been a while since I painted so I'm feeling a little pressure <laughs> to do it right I feel like for me the hardest is always like the, the blossoms are pink and the sky is blue but how do I create that distinction nicely do I have to paint in negative space, maybe? Maybe that's what I have to do. <coughs> Alright, Goo. Go ahead. <coughs> Go ahead. If they're downstairs. I'm gonna I'm gonna try negative spacing this. Good boy. Here's my eraser. Hello, Kiara the Bard. This thing doesn't have too much. <laughs> Activating all the paints.
the base is built. And then my trustworthy Skoda number six. We're gonna mix a pool of really, really blue, blue sky. I think I need a big pool of that. I'm streaming! I'm streaming. You're streaming? Yes. Is Cookie just crazy, crazy boy? I think I think you did pretty good. Yeah? You did pretty good. Cookie? Uh, he, is he still doing good? <laughs> he is very, he's very overstimulated right now. <laughs> is, that, is that the right word? <laughs> <laughs> good. Yes. Good nerd. Well, he loves you. So there goes a new pooter. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is the roof. Oh. This is the setup. Do you want to make Colin sit in it? Do you want to try sure. to drive? Uh, I can how much time do we have? 138? Uh, I won't drive, but I'll sit in it. Okay. Well, let me move like, this Because, like, my thing. neck still hurts. Like, okay, yeah. I can absolutely tore something. I don't know. Could you just lift me a drive-by lift? He did. Just, you can be a drive by <laughs> <laughs> lick. <laughs> He's such a gooper rude. Yeah. Quick, you're gonna squeal. Yes, sir, yeah. Are you gonna squeal? Alright. <laughs> He's such a gooper. Cookie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah so basically all right i think that's oh, that's wow, that's yeah. how so i'm it's gonna like on a slider. do this right now that's 400 my butt seeks 20 grand <laughs> uh, oh uh, so okay. now it's a bar yeah there you go probably want a little closer all right Oh, wait, the left one's the clutch. Feels good. This is gas. I got oh. my sky, finally. This is clutch. This yeah. is brake. Feel the brake. Oh, whoa. Yeah, so it's supposed to be, like... Real? Yeah, more realistic. Real. I feel like enough one. And then this there. is the shifting. Oh, I like the shifters. That's yeah. kind of cool. That's and then, very visceral yeah. reaction. Yeah, and then this is actually... It's a quick disconnect wheel. Oh, so the whole whoa. so yeah, so they're, they're really digging out of, over the take the, the whole wheel sim off rig. When you get in. Oh wow! And then you can just kind of come in here. Wait, do you have ice and racing? Hmm? You have ice and racing? Not yet. No, I feel like you should get that ice and racing game. Yeah. Because that's what like I racing. Yeah, that's yeah. what like F one games, right? Correct. I feel like why not get that one? Yes. Well, that one that one's more competitive and online based. And Elliot just wants to train. I just want to train. Like, Why not? You can, can't you train in so, iRacing? No, well, you can, but it's like the car selection is oh, way limited. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is cool, though. Dog shit. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I need to, I actually want to pull the pedals in a little bit, because if you look, you kind of have the same problem that I have, which, which is, is, see how tight your arm is on the pedal, or on the wheel? Yeah. But see how, like, you're... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So the pedals need to come closer yeah, and the yeah. seat... Because you would probably want a little more space, yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, the pedal should be, like, kind of like... Here. Yeah, so I need to make an adjustment yeah. to this to, to get being able to bring the pedals in. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I feel like this is a lot of work to, to set up. It is, yeah. Did April help you at all? No. No, no, no. Did, did we help her build her chairs multiple times? Yeah, who could say? 
I don't know. Oh, wow. I can't remember. Yeah, you can't recall through the fifth. <laughs> yeah. Let's just see. Let's see if I can. All right. You should talk to me. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and the feedback on the... When, when you actually drive it, which you don't want to do now. Oh, Cookie. Cookie. What did he do? He jumped over. He jumped over. He's okay. Wait, he jumped over the gate? Well, no, no he, he, he came over the couch. Oh, I see. I was like, we can't make him a habit of jumping over the gate. <laughs> Go home, nerd! <laughs> so anyways, now I gotta adjust it, but yeah. no, so normally you just loosen these things up and yeah, then it slides, it slides but, but what? I need to, there's like an alternative mode that yeah. allows you to do the pedals more, which I need to change to. Okay. So it's a little bit more involved. More, okay, got it. But this is cool. This is like dope. Yeah, and then dude, we have the VR helmet yeah. set on. It's crazy. When do we have to leave? Uh, it's 11.40 now. I don't know how busy the theater's going to be. They recommended getting at least 15 minutes early. There's no reserved seats. And I actually need to print out the tickets. tickets. Yeah. This is cool. I, I do, what are these buttons? Like well, these are all programmable. Oh, all right, shit. so I accidentally splashed some. Um, so. Which one's not? It's okay. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> yeah. This is, I, I do like these pedals, these classic pedals. Yeah, no, they're nice. So yeah. you clutch, oh, that's yes, yeah. and then clutch, clutch. pad. You, in, um, you, like, you hold down the clutch pad. No, this, this up. is really, if I end up getting, because you can get an additional arm, the bolt comes here, oh, for and then the shift shifter. Oh, okay. So then you would need, but in my current setup, I don't use this pedal. Oh, oh it's just these. Well, it's just these two pedals, and then the shift, correct. <laughs> that brake is like... Yeah. It's supposed to be more hard, and, and it's also like, it's actually adjustable, like I can adjust... Oh, just the weight. The, 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 yeah. the force Newton. Yeah, because, because this, like a real brake pedal, yeah. Under load, it, it's actually quite a bit of pressure, <laughs> and so that feels similar. Okay, cool. This is cool. I I do when my neck is better. Yeah, and and I can get the final adjustment. Where also, I, I would want a better release than you in this case. Your need for speed. Higher <laughs> ground. I want to. Yeah. No, and as I need to make this adjustment so I can pull the pedals in. Um, I'm surprised you can get this in yellow. Uh, there's no. I actually, I actually kind of like the white, because like, there's kind of white stickers on everything, mm -hmm. and you're bad. Well, I'm just trying to say match your quad color. I guess white does match. Yeah. This is cool though. I, yeah, I do want, I, I saw, I don't want to play that. Ooh, color. That's not the right color. Well, I, I need, I need like better graphics. The I, the I racing graphics are shit too. Oh. That's the problem. Is there a better race? The problem is there's not a better racing game that is fully VR. Which is like kind of insane because I feel like. I know. But they're about that game that I was playing, they're yeah. supposed to launch the second version of it this yeah. quarter, 2024. Oh, okay. yeah. So it should basically be that simulation style game with VR support, but on brand new graphics and engine. Oh, that'll be good. So that'll be good. Yeah. They're talking VR. Just like, so I like. Yeah. I like yeah, no, and, and the feedback is quite is, crazy. Yeah. Like, it's really <laughs> it makes you feel like road feedback from, like, the wheels. Is there a yeah, way? no, this whole thing, this is actually quite a heavy thing, but, yeah, yeah no, it's, like, when, when you go over, like, a bump, you can feel it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and when your car is, like, maybe starting to oversteer, you can feel through the wheel. Oh, whoa. So, yeah, it gets, okay. it adds a lot of realism. Okay, nice. Um, to, that, to, this, yeah, that's cool. So, and this is, like, kind of, like, a... This is like not, I just would call, this is what I call entry level high end. So you uh, can get a lot of like cheaper yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But for the good stuff, yeah. this is like the entry level. Got it. And you can get them that are so strong that you would actually break your arm. I could break your arm. Nice. And then people add, have to add a kill switch <laughs> because like your car starts spinning out and the wheel, you know, is being controlled yeah, in yeah. video games. You hit the stop switch because like if it, like, if the wheel's spinning and your thumb is caught... Oh, yikes. Ugh. Yeah. Yes. But this one, this one is, like, you still feel it, but yeah. it's only five newton meters of force. Yeah. Versus the ones that can break your arm are 30. Let's go 40. <laughs> yes, you have to have a kill switch. Okay. Ellie, you're really giving me confidence about this game. And it's safety. You know, it's safety. Giant game, giant real life. 
<laughs> I love it. Tell me more. I'm interested. This is this is cool. I yeah. I I want to try. It. I'm gonna be effing awful. Yeah. Yeah, but I still want to try it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be awful. But yeah, no. It's, Wait, does it does it just continuously turn? No, there's a there's an end point. There's an end because like I feel like 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 a real wheel. Yeah, because like a real wheel would just immediately stop like after like. Well, it's still yeah, depending on how the car's the real life car. The thing with this paper is well, it kind of dries very game, slowly, and so yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. it takes but a little in, bit. In, when the thing is off, yeah. uh, it will not. Okay. Wait, so this is, this is automatic. Like, this is just automatic, essentially. Like, you don't need a clutch. You no, need, no, no. Because no. you can just do this down, up. Yeah. Down, up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and this is not the right way to drive, though. Like, like. If like I had, if I bought a car with these pet, like these oh. platters, like I mean, I would prefer a manual, but I think like because you don't even need a clutch with these, like in real life, too. No, yeah, no, you, it's like my BMW, like, you just press the you button. just press the button. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and endorphins so leave from your brain. Yeah, so happy. <laughs> so okay. Yeah, no, so that's it. Yeah, no, this I think cool. it's a pretty good setup. Yeah, I, I do think I think the seat has to be more comfortable because if you're like you're in there for a long time. You know, so April, by the way, mm. I actually think we should not do exit five. We need to pivot because oh, yeah. they, they closed I ninety April bad. and traffic is off the fucking charts. And there's also the opening sounder game. It's also St. Patrick's Day. It's today. And we saw a whole bunch of DeLoreans downtown. DeLoreans? Yeah, that's the car from the Back to the Future movie. Oh. Yeah, and then so now like we could just. Oh. Well, how about Linwood? Yeah, it's easier for you to get oh, in. Oh, yeah, it's... Well, no, because every, basically every, every anything kind of farther away is just kind of fucked. Oh, yeah, driving is not advised. Mm. So if we want to do dinner, we, have, we want to do something more local. Is the dog just laying in the sun? Yeah, he really likes to do that. Did you just refer to Cookie as a dog? I did. Now, isn't he a dog? I mean, but he's your, he's your brother. Cookie. No, he's downstairs. Oh, what's up? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, it's not dry yet. Are you happy? He's very happy. Are you happy? I'm not going to give you the other one. You do that, though. Okay. Well, let me print out these tickets. Yeah, print out the tickets, and I can pretty much end stream. Yeah, and honestly, we should be leaving here fairly shortly. I need to pee before doing. <laughs> do you hear these squeals? I do. I call them the piglet. This one, it's like I, I went for it too soon. It's still wet. He's such a spoiled boy. Oh! My new computer isn't hooked up to the printer yet. Oh, we're doomed. Oh, where's my phone? Uh-oh. Right here. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can find... Wait, is that a drink on the desk? April drink, yeah. Interesting. From okay. who knows how long. Okay, I'm adding okay. the device. We'll never make it. So, on, on a scale of one to Ikea furniture, what would you rate this? I mean, it took me seven hours. So, Ikea furniture confirmed. <laughs> yeah. I mean... This is really the entry level for a fully adjustable setup. Yeah. Um, I'm connected to the printer. Um, the real, the real professional setups, which are probably <laughs> even harder see. to build. Delorians. But then everything is. I'm not getting like the bucket. The, the bucket is stupid. You know, it's like a system, like <laughs> you I'm not it, interested, like even though the wormies like are. You tighten the bolt. My yeah. the big appeal for me um, to go watch that this makes sense. movie. Are you helping? Is that what you're doing? Are you helping? Put the big boy on. Wait, he yawned? He did yawn. Big boy. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, nice. Now we're ready. Cookie. 
He's a big boy. Well, this isn't doing anything. Move that and move this. <laughs> Fine. Wait, so what happened to the rest of the station? They're gone. There's no stationery there to begin with. Oh wow! <laughs> Someone accuses me of it. <laughs> I like how it's just raining quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Not even defending. What is it? I blame the time. If I had the Back to the Future. Oh yeah, that's true. The Back to the Future car. I know, but there's a Hobonichi cover that's like that theme. You don't care. Alright, but we'll head downstairs. And oh, I do like that picture. I know, on the brick. Yeah, it's good. That's and then, then I love there's this sticker in blue, the number in green right there on the, on the way. Yeah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, I got our tickets. Or I'll be down in like. Everyone use the bathroom. We're gonna be stuck. We're gonna be stuck there for a while. I need to leave. I don't want to finish. I want to finish this painting though. All right, I think we have to pause right now. Um, it needs to dry more before I add more stuff to it. Anyway, all right, friends, it's nice to hang out for a little bit. My coffee status is this. <laughs> my three palette solution <laughs> all right i'm gonna head out have a good rest of your weeks bye friends <laughs>